Hello, in this video we are going to solve this exponential problem and find the value of n that satisfies this equation. This is 5 power n. This equals n power 6 to 5. Now, what we are going to do first is we can try and eliminate this n here because we have n here and also we have another n here. So let's eliminate this n and try and push it over here. So that means for us to do that, we need to multiply this exponent by 1 over n. I have 5 power n. This 3 power of 1 over n. I need to do the same thing here. Equals n power 6 to 5. Raise 3 power of 1 over n. Now, if you have a power n, raise 3 power of n, equals a power n times n. Applying this right here and here, what we are going to have is 5 to the power of n times 1, that is n over n, equals n power 6 to 5 times 1, that is 6 to 5 divided by n. Now we have n divided by n is 1, we have 5 equals n power 6 to 5 over n. Now the next thing we are going to do will be for us to eliminate the 6 to 5 here. I want to eliminate this one here and push it over here. So I'm going to multiply this exponent by 1 over 6 to 5. I have 5 power is 1 over 6 to 5. And this equals n power 6 to 5 divided by n. And this raised to the power of 1 over 6 to 5. So from here, remember a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. Applying this right here, we are going to multiply this exponent. We have 5 power 1 over 6 to 5 equals n power 6 to 5 times 1. That is 6 to 5 divided by 6 to 5 n. Let's cancel this. From here we have 5 to the power of 1 over 6, 6 to 5 equals n power 1 over n. Now, the base here is different from what we have here. It's exponent. Well, the base here is the same as what we have here at the exponent. So let's try and make the both of them to be the same. I mean this one here to be the same as this so that we can compare. So what we are going to do is we are going to have 5 to the power of, I can bring in 1 times 1 over 6 to 5 equals n power 1 over n. Now I can copy out this one and make use of equivalent fractions. I want the situation that this base here will be the same as what we have here. So can easily have this one as 5 divided by 5. 1 and 5 divided by 5 are the same thing. So I have 5 to the power of 5 divided by 5 times 1 divided by 6 to 5 equals n power 1 over n. So from here, multiply 5 times 1, a 5 power of 5. Divided by 5 times 6 to 5. 6 to 5 times 5. 5 times 5 times 5. 5 carry back. 2. 5 times 2, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. 2 carry back 1. 5 times 6, 30. 30 plus, 10 plus 1. 31. 3, 1, 2, 5. So this is 3, 1, 2, 5. Equals n power 1 over n. 
Now, the next step is let's try and factor these files. I have 5 to the power 5 times 1 divided by 3125, and this equals n power 1 over n. So, if you have a power n times n equals a power n raised to the power of n, applying that here, I have 5 to the power of 5 raised to the power of 1 over 3125 equals n power 1 over n. So from here, we need to find the value of 5 power 5. So we have 5 to the power 5 equals 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 times 5, 1 to 5, 6 to 5, 3, 1 to 5. We have 3, 1 to 5 to the power of 1 over 3, 1 to 5 equals n power 1 over n. From here, the piece and this are the same, the piece and this are the same. If you have a power 1 over a equals b power 1 over b, you can equate this. You have 1 over a equals 1 over b. You cross multiply. Then you have a times 1, that is a equals b times 1, that is b. So, you are simply going to have 1 divided by 3, 1, 2, 5 equals 1 divided by n. So from here, n times 1, I have n equals 3, 1, 2, 5 times 1, I have 3, 1, 2, 5. So at this particular point in time, we have gotten our value for n. Next step will be to insert that particular value right here. I have check of n equals 3, 1, 2, 5. That means I'm going to have 5 power 3, 1, 2, 5 equals 3, 1, 2, 5 or 6, 2, 5. And don't forget, 3, 1, 2, 5 equals 5 power 5. Meaning that I have 5 to the power of 3, 1, 2, 5 equals 3, 1, 2, 5 here is 5 power 5. This raised to the power of 6 to 5. Now consider this identity. a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. Multiply this out. 6 to 5 times 5. 5 times 5 times 5, 5 square over 3. 5 times 2, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. 2 square over 1. 5 times 6, 30, 30 plus 1. 3, 1, 2, 5. So we have 5 to the power of 3, 1, 2, 5 equals 5 to the power of 3, 1, 2, 5. Left hand side equals right hand side. Ladies and gentlemen, that has satisfied the equation. Now, a quick recap what do you mean do first? And let's eliminate this end. Push all the variables to one side. Also, I have another number here and push all the numbers to one side. I push all the variables to the right hand side, then I push all the numbers to the left hand side. That was what I did. And that brought us to this particular point in which we have 5 equals this. I need to remove this number, push it to this side. And that brought us to this particular point. Here we have this 5 to the power of 1 over. 6 to 5 equals n to the power 1 over n. At this point, all the variables are now here in the right hand side, and the numbers are here on the left hand side. So at this point, the next step was for me to ensure that this base here is the same as this base here. Just two major steps. First step, move all the variables to one side and numbers to one side. Second step, make sure the base. On the side of the numbers are the same with the one you have at the exponent by making use of equivalent fractions. Instead of writing 1, I replace it with 5 over 5. Multiply the numerator, multiply the numerator. From there, I factor out. Then I have this. 
I factor out the 5, I have this in which I can take this 5 power 5, which will give me exactly what we have here. From there, I equated the exponents and I solve for n. As simple as that. Guys, see you again.